Hello everyone. I thought I'd show you how to create your own programming language. So today we're going to start setting up the project. And uh, there won't be a lot of programming in this video. We'll do a lot more coding in the next video. Today is just setting up the project. We're going to uh, write our programming language using C and uh, to start with it's going to be an interpreted interpreted language um, if you're looking for making a compiled language this is still helpful for you it's very easy to um, to make it compiled after we have done the other steps that are required even if you're making an interpreted language or a compiled language, you're still going to need the Lexer and the uh, AST stuff. So stay tuned. Um, maybe we'll make it compiled in the end of the series. But for now, it's going to be an interpreted language. So what is an interpreted language? Well, it's a language that is interpreted. Some examples of interpreted languages are Python, uh, I think Lua is an interpreted language. I think JavaScript used to be an interpreted language. I don't know what it is anymore. So let's start. First, we're going to create a folder. And first, we're going to decide what we're going to call our language. For now, I'm going to just going to call our language hello. So I'm going to create a folder called hello. I'm going to go into that folder. And I'm going to create some files and folders inside of here. So the first file we're going to create is a make file. A make file is basically instructions for the compiler so that it knows how to compile your project. Then we're going to create an SRC folder. Whoa. And inside the SRC folder, we're going to create an include folder. Let's open up an editor here. Uh, inside the SRC folder, we're going to create a main.c file. And inside the include folder, we're going to create a main.h file. Okay. So in this video, we're going to focus on the make file. So let's open up the make file. And let's define the name of our executable first. Um, I'm just going to call it hello.out. Now we need to tell, tell the, uh, we need to define where our source files are. So sources is equal to wildcard uh, src star.c. Okay, because our source files are going to be inside the src folder and they have the extension .c. And yes, I am reading from an existing make file because it's very difficult to remember all of this in your head. Now we're going to define uh, how it should create the objects, the object files. So objects is equal to sources. And we're going to rename the .c extension to .o extension. And object files are basically files that the compiler creates and then links them together to create our executable. Something like that. Um, then we're going to have some flags for our compiler. Um, for now, we're just going to have slash g, which just helps us to debug stuff in the future. Okay. Now we need to tell it how to create the executable. So exec is going to link together the objects. So GCC objects flags and the output is the executable. <clears throat> now I'm not a makefile expert, so if you want to know more into if you want to know more details on what all of this means, um, I think there's some pretty good make file documentations that you can read on the internet. So just use Google or something. <clears throat> so we're going to tell it how to create the O files. Uh, just going to use the .c sources and the include files. 
Okay, then we're going to do GCC C flags. Oh, like that. <clears throat> so whenever there, whenever it detects a change in our source files, it's going to rec recreate the object files, basically. <clears throat> okay. Then um, we want to have a clean command so that we can recompile everything from scratch if we if you feel like doing that. So clean. Uh, we're going to do error remove uh, every dot out file. And this is why we have the dot out extension here, basically, because it's, it's easier to clean it up. And then we're going to remove the object files and we're going to remove the object files from the source folder as well. Okay. Uh, so let's see if this works. I think this is all we need for now. So let's go into our main.c file and write our main entry point for the program. So in main in argc char argv printf hello world return zero and we're gonna include the io.h to be able to print. Then you want to go into your terminal, make sure you're standing where your make file is, and just type make and it should compile the program. There we go. So now it created our hello.out binary. So if we do dot slash hello.out, it should execute it. And there we go, it works. Now we want to be professional here so that for example, if I would run Python on some file, I, I don't have to do dot slash Python, right? Because Python is accessible globally on my system. So I can just do Python and some file.py. So we want to be able to do this as well. So uh, let's just add an install section here, install. And we're just going to do CP. Actually, we're going to do make and we're going to do cp dot slash hello dot out uh, slash user local bin hello. Now you're going to have to run the make uh, make install command using root privileges. So sudo make install. <clears throat> cool. So now the hello binary is accessible globally on your system. So now I can just type hello and uh, it works. Cool. So uh, our programming language is now called Hello. We'll see if we change the name of it in the future. This is all for this video. In the next part, we're going to start writing our lexer. And a lexer is basically a set of functions that knows how to uh, turn your source code into tokens, basically. So that's basically the first part of uh, or this that's sort of like the first step of writing a programming language, basically. So please like this video if you uh, to show me that you want to see more of this. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And also hit the bell button if you don't want to miss any of uh, my uploads. So I'm looking forward to the next video and uh, I'll see you then. Thank you for watching.